Hello from rather chilly Volgograd. So you may know this city better as Stalingrad, which was the scene of one of the most bloodiest battles throughout the history of warfare. This place saw over 2 million deaths, over 900,000 Axis forces and over 1.1 million Soviet citizens died here in Stalingrad, now Volgograd. And for that reason, there was only one place we could start this day really, and that's up on the hill, looking over the city, next to the monument of Mat Rodina Zavrat, or the Motherland Cause. So at nearly 90 metres tall, this monument was built in 1961 to commemorate the battle that happened here in Stalingrad, or now Volgograd. At the time, it was the tallest statue on earth, and even now, it's still the 10th tallest and the tallest statue of a woman in the entire world. It's incredibly poignant, built up on the high ground over the city, and this part of the city in particular was incredibly heavy, heavily fought over because of its strategic value, looking over the Volga River and the entire of Volgograd. So some of the stories that came out of the Battle of Stalingrad are absolutely harrowing. Costing nearly two million lives, this was probably one of the most gruesome examples of urban warfare ever fought. It was actually down to the fact as well that many civilians were left in what was Stalingrad then, uh, on Stalin's orders, because he wanted to keep the factories going and uh, one of the things as well that he wanted like relatives and the close ones of the soldiers to keep them sort of inspired and to make them fight harder. It was his thinking that with more people left in the city, the Soviet army would fight harder, stronger to keep the Germans from advancing into the city itself. That didn't work out and incredible, incredible amounts of civilians were caught in the crossfire as well as troops on both sides. But it was actually one of the big turning points in the war. It was one of the Germans' biggest defeats at that point of time. And I think it was the first time back in Germany that they actually acknowledged a defeat during the war. And I think what happened here at that time really changed the tide on the Eastern Front and gave a lot of confidence to the Soviet Union that at that point had lost big cities from Kiev to Kharkov to Rostov. This city served as an inspiration to the entire war effort. And since then, Volgograd has been awarded a title of a hero city. The sad fact is, is that in the West, certainly in the UK from when I was at school, we don't get taught much at all about what happened on the Eastern Front and the incredible sacrifice of life that the Soviet Union made during the war. And it's only since really I've been traveling in this region and been with Julia that you've really come to appreciate the scale of the effect that the war has and still has today on the ex-Soviet countries, I mean, the population 
is one thing, even in modern Russia, there's still a lot more women than there is men. As you can imagine, the city was wiped out and it was completely rebuilt from scratch after the war. So that you can see over there is the stadium that was built for the Football World Cup which was hosted here in Russia in 2018 and Volgograd was one of the host cities and we're heading down in that direction to get the tram back into the centre. Now we're on our way to get a tram that turns into a metro that goes underground to get back into the centre. And then it turns back into the tram. Oh no, we've missed it. It's not the only one in the it's, city. It's not the only tram in the city. Right? That's it. Okay. It's a pretty big city. <laughs> Okay, we're back in the centre and the stomachs are rumbling, so we're going to grab something to eat. Let's try and warm us up a bit as well, because it is freezing today. There's a wind coming off the Volga as well. So inside you can show us. We've been quite lucky with the weather because we've been traveling throughout November and as we all know November is not the best month to go outside and we've been quite lucky it's only been raining what, all day in like Grozny when we yeah, needed to film um, in Chechnya and like yesterday yesterday here yeah but uh, the rest has been amazing it has been pretty good I think uh, our luck kind of stopped yesterday. <laughs> yeah, today the proper Russian winters arrived in Volgograd. Also though, just to say, there is no bad weather, there is bad clothing. And we should have taken our tights with us. <laughs> yeah, and decent shoes. I'm not sure we're, our shoes are really cut out for this. Yeah, that's, yeah, shoes and tights. The name Volga Grad obviously comes from the river Volga and Grad means city in Slavic languages, Gorod city, so it means city on the Volga. And we're heading down to the river now. This is obviously the second time we meet the river. We've seen it in Astrakhan a couple of days ago as well.
Bridge. We made it to one of the main squares near the station. And that's actually where we're coming back tomorrow because this is the last leg of this trip around southern Russia. And tomorrow we've got a 24 hour train back to Sochi. But for now, <laughs> should we go back? Yeah, we're going to go back. So, uh, do you struggle to talk? My mouth is like, oh my God. <laughs> I can't move it properly. <laughs> I mean, it's literally like we said, minus two. We're, so, we're such pussies, I'm aren't we? I'm from Siberia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, the thing is, the cold here is different to Siberia, though, isn't it? Here it feels a lot... Damp. The word we were trying to look for is damp, yeah, yep. earlier. Here is a lot damper, whereas in Siberia it's a dry cold. Minus 20 doesn't feel as bad as this, I don't think. No. Maybe and we're just not dressed dry. better, yeah. We're not dressed well as well. Our colds are awesome, but legs are in trouble. Yeah, sure. footwear's not great. <laughs> so yeah, let's go back, let's have a warm shower and we'll catch you back in the apartment. We're back in our apartment, we just had a cup of tea and let's show you around. Let's start with the main bedroom. It's well nice. There is a corridor. There is a second bedroom. I like the funky um, light bulbs, no cinema there. Little candles hanging out. Mm -hmm. office <laughs> been working hard today <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um, look <laughs> my boobie do you see this look Nice, 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 nice. And it cost twelve pounds a night, so like yeah, fifteen, sixteen dollars. Something like that. Not bad, not bad. So right now we're gonna cook dinner, then do some editing, pack for tomorrow, and see you tomorrow. So we just got to the station and we just wanted to show you around because some of these Soviet stations are like museums in themselves. This one here in Volgograd is absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of tributes to what happened at the Battle of Stalingrad and it is just so beautiful.
Спасибо большое. I'll do it in a sec. See if you come up and do it. Mm. Yes, so you know, I'll do it. Do you want to do it? You did. That's a bit evil. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite fun watching that. <laughs> we got given the baddies in those bags, and I'm just gonna do it straight away. I'm gonna do it too. We've got the third class again, which means the carriage is open, but at the moment we don't have anyone around us. And we checked online. <laughs> again at the moment we don't have any neighbors at the top and apparently there is someone across there so the time now is 20 past three and i don't know why i check my watch i already know <laughs> and we're leaving at four and we've got 21 hours to get from here in volgograd to sochi I excited i can't wait to be there yeah <laughs> Welcome back to Sunny Sochi. It's a bit warm for these winter coats. Is it 15? Okay, and just like that, three weeks across southern Russia is done. Time seems to have absolutely flown, to be honest. I don't know where these three weeks have gone. But we're still here in Russia for another month or so, so we've got lots more coming, so stay tuned for all that. And just wanted to say, we're going up this massive stairs, and it's like the last part to get home. And they have snakes on the stairs. We've seen it a few times. Like not at the moment, isn't we're not looking at snakes, but I'm, at some I'm point. Kind You're of looking out for snakes, yes. yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> we've seen not like tiny ones, you know, the grass snakes. No, big ass fat snakes, gross ones. Yeah, I mean the climate here in Sochi is really, really warm. Like it's midwinter now, and it's 15 degrees, yeah. so like we're sweating. So yeah, I guess it's the perfect climate for them <laughs> yeah. to sit on the stairs. Not for me. <laughs> anyway, to be honest, closing out this video here, we're just putting off going up the stairs because we were out of breath. So on that note, should we do it? Yes. Thanks for watching, and see you next one.